This is awesome. Last year, Death Lefts shook up the motorhome world when it debuted the e-home concept, an all-electric motorhome covered in solar panels. At the very same show, it revealed the curvy, lightweight Coco Caravan concept. Fast forward a year, and Death Lefts has smashed the two concepts together to create the e-home Coco. It's a small, stylish concept trailer with a floor-mounted lithium-ion battery and a dual motor axle designed to decrease towing demands, add mobile power capabilities, and provide handling advantages on the highway. And at camp, an all-electric motorhome makes immediate sense, even if the battery technology isn't quite there to make it more than a concept just yet. Now, replacing a loud emissions-spewing gas engine with a quiet emissions-free electric powertrain sounds like a much better way to get out and camp in nature. But a caravan doesn't have an engine to begin with. So why would you suddenly add electric motors? Death Lefts believes that adding electric motive power to the otherwise passive camping trailer makes sense for a number of key reasons. So it's integrated a lithium-ion battery, skateboard style, into the eHome Coco's chassis. At 80 kilowatt hours, it's no small auxiliary pack. It actually has more capacity than the base level of the Tesla Model S. The battery sends power to the electrified axle, which puts a 40 kilowatt motor at each wheel. Solar panels on the caravan's roof help keep the battery charged. The critical advantage of having a caravan spin its own wheels is cutting down on the tow load on the vehicle out front. The eHome Coco's intelligent control electronics manage the electric motors and cut the effective weight on the tow vehicle to a predefined number. So instead of, say, towing 2,000 pounds worth of trailer, the tow vehicle is effectively towing 220 pounds. This is revolutionary. That cuts the tow weight, meaning that even a small vehicle with limited towing capacity can pull the e-home Coco to camp. It also means that an electric car won't experience any devastating range cut that it would otherwise experience when towing a big, heavy trailer. Each of the e-home Coco's motors is capable of producing up to 347 foot-pounds of torque, and the trailer is equipped with a torque torque vectoring system that can independently vary the torque at each wheel for improved performance and stability on the highway. This thing's amazing. The electric powertrain also helps out upon arrival at camp, and the eHome Coco can maneuver under its own power rather than requiring the vehicle to tow it into place. Using a smartphone app, the driver can easily park it into a designated camping space. A large capacity battery and roof-mounted solar panels could provide quite useful at camp, running standard electrical equipment like LED lighting, optional add-ons like air conditioning and heating, and accessories like tools, coffee makers, blenders, and more, all without the noise or emissions of a gas generator. Eventually, camping season ends and the typical trailer begins months upon months of taking up space and collecting dust. Not the e-home Coco, though, which is designed to work the entire year. Death Lefts imagines it being hooked up to the home grid, its battery serving as a backup power supply for an active part of a solar system. The eHome Coco is part of Death Left's ongoing research into more sustainable RVing. The company plans to test its effectiveness at cutting strain on the tow vehicle in the first half of 2019.